Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janine and for today's video is a tutorial on this look. Um, this is just a very simple um, makeup look that I posted on my Instagram last week and I asked you guys if you want a tutorial on that. So here it is. Let me talk about the contact lenses that I'm wearing very quickly. Um, this is sent to me by Lenses and Lashes from Instagram. I'll put the um, Instagram handle name here. They sent me this contact lenses together with one more color. I'm wearing the Batis Grey. Um, I think that's the name. If not, I will just put it in the description box below. I will put the link as well of their Instagram account. And so you can go ahead and check that out. I really love this lenses because it's very light. Maybe some of us are having a hard time wearing contact lenses because they're very thick. Some of them are very small. I mean, the diameter of, of the lenses is very small. This one is just right. For me, usually when I wear this, I it doesn't last me the whole flight, 8 hour flight. I will definitely remove it in the middle of the flight. But this one, I've worn this on flight and I don't have any problems with it. It's very thin that you won't feel like you're wearing any contact lenses. That's how I want to describe it and that's what I like. Alright, so I might not do an outro for this video but if you're interested to know the products that I've used, please check the description box below and if you have any video requests, of course, don't hesitate to write them down in the comment box and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So without further ado, let's start with the tutorial. Okay, so starting off with the primer, I'm using this NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer, the anti-redness. I'm currently having a lot of redness on my face, that's why I love using this as of the moment. Okay, so for the concealers, I'm going to use two shades from the Maybelline H Rewind. So first, I'm going to use the medium for my dark circles, my dark spots, and also the veins on my cheeks. Um, I'm using my finger to blend everything, that's because I want a little coverage or a medium coverage on those areas. Okay, so to give my face a brighter aura, I'm going to apply the lighter shade of the concealer on the center of my face and then I'm going to blend that with a sponge. Next, with this IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder, I'm just going to set the concealers and also apply some coverage on my neck and on the areas that I didn't put any concealer. Alright, so next, it's time to bronze up with my new favorite Catrice Cosmetic Sun Glow Mineral Bronzing Powder in the shade Golden Light. You guys, this one is really good for everyday bronzing. I mean, I love the matte bronzing powder. I still use that. I still love that. But this one is really giving me the sun glow that I need for my everyday makeup. Alright, so next for the brows, I'm going to use this Clio Kill Brow Tinted Tattoo. I super love this product. This is 2-in-1. Um, it has the pen and the other side is a brow mascara. So first, I'm going to outline my brows and then fill in the gaps. And then on the other side, I also want to use that, which is the brow mascara or the tinted brow mascara to tame the hair and also this will help um, hold the hair to the direction that I want them to stay at. Okay, so after that, I want to take a clean spoolie with an angled brush. Um, for the spoolie, I want to even out 
the brow mascara that I just applied and then for the angled brush I want to use it on the outer part of my brows to create a gradient effect. The next step is optional but if you're feeling extra today you can apply an eyeshadow so today I'm going to use a um, Colourpop Super Shock shadow in the shade Wilshire and just apply it all over my lids using my finger. And then for my eyeliner, I want it to be very precise, super close to my lash line and very thin. So I'm trying to be careful while drawing it. And then I won't draw my wings yet, it will be there later after I put on my eyelashes. <laughs> I don't have that much of hair on my eyelashes, that's why I want to pop on some falsies and look how pretty these lashes are. Thank you so much to my YouTuber friend Rach for giving me these lashes. It's very pretty, I super love it and I just did apply some mascara, a little bit of mascara to add some volume. And then continue drawing the wings for my eyeliner. Next with a black eyeliner pencil, I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line connecting to the wings of my eyeliner. And then for my waterline, I'm going to use this Colourpop gel liner in the shade Honeydew. Okay, so for the blush, I'm going to use this sleek makeup blush in the shade Life's a Peach and just pack it all over my cheeks or the apples of my cheeks and add some on the center of my nose. Alright, so I can see we're almost done here. So I'm just applying some lip liner from Essence and this is in the shade Girl Next Door. And then next, I'm going to apply this uh, on the center of my lips. This is the Peripera Airy Ink Velvet in the shade number 2. And I'll just apply that on the center and then use my fingers to even it out for a more natural look. You can't forget about the highlighter. So I'm going to use this Oviva Strobe Gel Highlighter in the shade Halo. And apply it on the higher parts of my cheeks and on my nose, on the tip of my nose, using my fingers. To wrap it all up, of course, we need a setting spray and I'm using the Milani Make It Last setting spray. And guys, we're good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!